Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out RedZoneCoins.com for cheap and fast coins. You can use code Zerk for 10% off at checkout. Get a million coins for $45. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually play the Madden 21 beta. It's not really a beta anymore, it's more so just Madden 21 I guess. It's a little bit weird the way the EA has been doing it because if you guys have noticed they've actually been dropping updates to the beta if you still have it available so as we already know there are menu screens available in the beta right now to where you could potentially play franchise you could play the yard you could play ultimate team now i don't know how to get into ultimate team or the yard but i do want to give a shout out to d money i'm gonna leave a link to his youtube in the description a uh, big shout out to all you guys as well for actually spamming me last night i believe he posted a clip over on his twitter and everyone was spamming me with it as you guys may or may not know i'm taking a little bit of a social media break really I haven't been on there that much kind of just enjoying this little bit of time away before men 21 kind of kicks up a bit uh we get a lot of that news so i didn't see it initially but I do want to give a shout out to D Money and everyone who was DMing me his Twitter post as well. So again, link in the YouTube dude's description. But I'm going to show you guys how you can actually play Madden 21 franchise right now. Now, real quick, I do want to give a shout out to Bo Juro, not Joe Burrow, for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have the chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the video, make sure you guys are sub to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below Noti Gang. Now, for the next part, I'm going to have to move my face cam. Now, I did do this last night just to make sure that it did still work. And by the way, I know that with me making this video, more people are going to know about it, more people will get into it. But at this point, it's already been going around for a long time since literally last night when D-Money tweeted this out and then made a video about it. And I'm pretty sure some other YouTubers have probably made videos about it as well. So me making this video is not going to change how fast this gets patched. I'm just trying to make sure that you guys get to at least play and try out Madden 21 with the new updates and everything. So what you guys have to do is uninstall mxx which is of course the madden 21 beta uninstall that and once you do that you then want to go to reinstall so i believe this works on xbox and also playstation go to my games and apps then you're going to go to see all and then you'll go to your full library come down to full library course and then go down to mxx so uninstall reinstall and then what you want to go to is going to be of course the queue and then once you guys are at the queue you come down here and once it gets 25 percent, you can load it up you can actually play that quick game i think it's ravens versus chiefs maybe i forgot honestly uh and then of course you can go into franchise now just get into franchise though you have to wait until this says 98 percent once it says 98 percent you hit a on it it'll bring you to a certain screen and then you can get into franchise now the game does play a little bit differently i didn't really get to play a lot yesterday because as you guys know i'm currently taking like a little bit of a vacation kind of kind of i'm still uploading videos but i'm not really on aside from that normally on social media that much so i haven't really got to play a ton but i definitely play a little bit more in the meantime while we can make sure you guys take advantage of this though try out franchise try out the gameplay things are a little bit different users are different a lot is a little bit different so with that being said guys let's get the pack opening so hopefully that helped you guys out and you can get into the madden 21 beta i don't really know if it should even call it a beta anymore because it's not necessarily the beta anymore it's more so just like the updated version of the beta. I'm not really sure how to explain it, but that game has actually been getting updates to it. If you noticed that, uh, you may have noticed anyways, in your background, you've been getting updates to that. It's because they've continuously updated it. Users are a little bit different. Some things are a lot different. Uh, I may end up playing it a bit, maybe giving you guys some feedback on it. I haven't really played it enough to give you feedback. I really just checked yesterday to see if it worked and messed around a little bit with it, but I may give you guys some feedback on that if you want to see it. But if you guys get in, play the franchise mode, or just play the play now if you want to just play the regular game, whatever, it doesn't matter. But I know a lot of people may want to mess around with franchise. I really wish there was a way to get into, like, Ultimate Team or something, because that would be awesome. But unfortunately, I, I don't think there is. Uh, round number two here, though, we get a 96 overall Herman Moore. By the way, this is a 2.5 million coin pack opening on Madden 19. I've honestly been having a lot of fun with these throwback videos. Uh, the Madden 19 videos, I think, are really, really fun. It's just really cool to see, like, the different pack animations. It's kind of like nostalgia, like 92 overall flashback to Monte Adams. Like, it, it, just Madden 19 overall, 
was a better year than Madden 20, I think. In terms of content, it was a little bit better. I think in terms of gameplay, even as getting 95 Rob Gronkowski there, I think it was a little bit better. This was actually a really, really good round number one right there. Uh, we got a 95, and we also got the flashback. I think it was Jordy Nelson. Did we pull flashback Jordy Nelson in this pack? Yeah, flashback Jordy Nelson, 91, and also that 95 overall Rob Gronkowski. So we have got like 40 ultimate legend fantasy packs to get into today. Now, of course, guys, as I mentioned, yes, I know, it is probably going to get patched pretty soon. The only reason why I'm showing it to you guys, and I wanted to show you guys anyways, but I understand it's probably going to get patched pretty soon. And at this point, me making this video, it's not going to change how fast it gets patched, if it does even. So make sure you guys take advantage of it and play as much as you possibly can just to test out the game. I honestly don't even know if they will care enough to really change that. Maybe they will. Maybe they won. I'm not too sure on that. Uh, let's get 90 overall marks down. It'd actually be pretty cool if they would just tell us what the code was. Because there's a code in there. But I feel like the code may be for certain people to test out like Ultimate Team and other stuff. To get 92 Damani Dawson right there. That's actually a pretty solid pull. I'll uh, we'll go with the 84. Round 2. We get 290 overall. So that was absolutely bad. But I really wish that they would just tell us the code so we could get even more feedback. Like, I think it'd be pretty awesome if they maybe even just open it up again, right? Just limit it to maybe even just play now to where we only have a certain amount of teams, kind of like the beta. Because the thing is, they don't want people to be able to have full access to the game or even full access to, like, certain modes. Because if you're only, like, a franchise player, right? If you have access to franchise right now... Why would you buy the full game? Like, if you could actually play online and play franchise, you're not going to buy the full game if you have access to that beta. So they could eventually just shut down those servers whenever the, oh, was he a 93 overall LT right there? Uh, they could just shut down those servers once the game actually does go live, which probably wouldn't be an issue to do uh, if they wanted to just do that. So I feel like they should just open up the beta for now. Let us play it because there's absolutely nothing going on in Madden 20 at all. Let us at least have some fun on Madden 21 and just continue to give them give them feedback until the official game releases. So that way they just have all the feedback they need. Literally, we still have another month until Madden 21 comes out. So why not just let us play? give you more gameplay feedback and you can continue to make updates the more people that play the game obviously the more feedback we'll get uh the more similar feedback they'll get and they kind of can understand what people want to see now we do have 30 total packs remaining by the way if you're wondering why i have 41 ultimate legend fantasy packs and then just the one legend fantasy pack it's because i wanted to make sure it was perfectly a 2.5 million coin pack of me, which it is exactly on the dot 2.5 mil. Uh, let's get 90 overall Ed Reed right there. I really just think it's cool to see like these older cards, as I said, kind of nostalgic uh, with even like the flashbacks or the ultimate legend players in general. Even the animations are just really, really cool to see, except for that one. I absolutely don't like that animation at all because I remember so many times I thought I got a good pull and it was trash. That animation is awesome as you get another 93 LT. I feel like that full legend animation, I liked it a little bit better. I think I liked the Madden 19, like full legend and probably full ultimate legend animation, maybe even better than Madden 20, probably, probably better than Madden 20, honestly, because with Madden 20's animation, it's cool, but it's just a big X, no matter what. Like it could be a high set piece, it could be a full ultimate legend. You'll never know. It's getting 95 Julio Jones right there, so that's a really, really good pull. I think I actually pulled that card during uh, like Christmas time as well, so nice pull right there. Now, since I do have 25 packs remaining, I know that you guys will probably not see every single pack, so probably here on out, you may just tend to see some highlights as we get a 96 overall Howie Long, but I'll do one more pack. Uh, we do have 25, so if I don't happen to pull like a full Ultimate Legend or at least some something glitchy maybe you guys won't see too many highlights get 95 overall sean t right here though in round number one so i guess as long as we keep getting good packs i'll continue to show you guys every pack get a 94 and i guess we'll go with the 94 overall got sean t got the 94 greg little hopping right into the next one though 25 packs remaining in this pack opening round one here we get an 84 we also get 85 overall and an 86 rodney mcclay it's not terrible but obviously nothing too crazy uh, round two, we get a 91, a big UL, 96 Tim Brown, not bad. I'll show you guys the highlights. 
So I've opened quite a few packs, and honestly, guys, these packs so far have not been crazy. Uh, seems like every pack I'm getting like a 95 or 96 overall pull, but that's about it. Like, we haven't got a crazy pull, as as I say that, we get 98 overall Tony Gonzalez. So that is our first full Ultimate Legend pull there out of the Ultimate Defenders pack. So I guess I just have to complain about not actually getting a 98 or 99, and I guess we'll get a 98 or 99. As we get two coin quick sells in the same exact round one those are my first coin quick sell since i've actually started doing the throwback packs uh let's get a 96 to how much do the 80 overalls quick sell for this in this year 20k which i think they're 18 and these ones are 60k so we just made 80 000 coins right there which these packs only cost 60k in madden 19 so we actually just made profit and we get to keep all the pulls of course so that was pretty solid doesn't really matter if we take the 82 overall leads honestly I don't even really think they sell any more Madden 19, but we'll do one more pack and then go back showing you guys the highlights if we don't end up pulling anything good out of this one. As we get an 81 overall Trey Flowers, we'll go with the 81 Jordan Matthews, fly through it, and we get a 95 LT. I completely was not ready for this to pop in the pack at all, but we got 98 overall Deion Jones, player spotlight. I really wish we got that from a Madden 20. Big UL, 99. 98 overall Deion Sanders, not too bad. So back-to-back -back packs, you get 98 overall Deion Jones, and then we get 98 overall Deion Sanders. That's actually pretty solid. And we get an 85 and an 82 overall coin quick sell out of these packs. Wow. All right, well, these are heating up here. Uh, even though this round was absolutely terrible, we literally got an 85 and an 81 overall coin, or 82 and an 85, so we just made 160K these packs literally cost 60,000 coins and we get to keep all the pulls i guess if we just continue to fly through the rounds maybe that's how we get the good luck as this one not so much all right guys so we're down to the last ultimate legend and the last legend fantasy pack here let's see if we can end it off hot as we could go with the 81 but i'm gonna go with the goat mitchell trubisky here and round number one, round two, we get a 96 overall T.O. So final pack of the 2.5 million coin pack opening. It was okay. It wasn't anything crazy. You know, we did get the 98 overall Deion Sanders, the Deion Jones. Uh, and we did get 98 overall Tony G. Got a couple coin quick sells as well, which we hadn't gotten any coin quick sells uh, aside from those. So pretty cool there as you get a base lead Julio and just because... I'm going to take the base of lead Julio. But with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. And, of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.